Hello everyone and welcome to this special talk about preparation and characterization of graphene exfoliated from pencil core and that what we are going to use electrochemical exfoliation process. As you know, the graphene is a very important material nowadays and it has a wide applications. So in this case, we are going to to learn how to preparate it and also we look about some characterization of this exfoliated graphene. So first of all, what is a difference between graphite and the graphene? So the graphene is only one atom thick monolayer and two dimensional sp carbon lattice. So if when you have a graphite rod then by exfoliation you got a few layer of carbon which is it called it graphene. Uh, how, what is the principle of electrochemical exfoliation? So after you have to set up the electrochemical cell and you, the ion in electrolyte will first uh, intercalated among the graphene layer of graphite and finally you can get a fluid layers of graphene. Before that, let's look at the common pencil that we use it every day so as you can see that as you know that graph pencil graphite characterize it on ratio of graphite and the clay from 9h to 9b and where h and b stand for hardness this is the amount of clay and darkness amount of graphite so in sample if you have higher grade of pencil this means you have higher amount of graphite and perhaps you will get higher amount of graphene. So in this case, we are for me, I use a 6B in this experiment. I use two pencil lead or core that I use a, a just a cutter to remove the wood, and then I collected the pencil from the pencil, the pencil load from the pencil bin. Uh, also, you need a power supply and you need electrolyte. My electrolyte, my electrolyte here is sodium sulfate with concentration of 0 0.1 molar. So after I turn on the voltage at 10 volt, so first of all, I will notice a bubble on the surface due to the uh, water electrolysis. Later on, the positive ion and negative ion is well moved to the each electrode side. And later on, on the positive electrode, this will happen the exfoliation, where if the sulfate ion is well penetrate inside the benzoyl core and leading to the uh, to to the exfoliation. So the graphite graphene is well flow on the surface, while the clay is will come to the bottom. So let's look at this a video uh, together to see about the processing. So we can see how we can we can see here easily how the bubble here and bubble here you can see it is so easily then starting and a little a little start exfoliation we can see this is the black then now starting to exfoliation. Actually, the exfoliation process is will occur immediately after you apply a voltage. So it's more after a few minutes. So we can see more now. My graph. Now I start how the clay is come to the bottom, and also I have some graphene start to collect and float on the surface of solution, as you can see here. So for sure I will have a lot of bubble because my my pencil is 6p which is, is the width of the size is is y. Okay so in the final you can get graphene on the surface as you can see it is here and it, that is the graphene is a lot of graphene here and also the clay is will come to the bottom of my beaker 
So what next? So the first I have to collect this amount here. You can see this is I have to collect them and put it sure on the filter paper with the vacuum filtration for a washing with the eye water. Also, you can if you are worried about the sulfate, you can wash it with HCl about 0.1 molar. But for my in this uh, experiment, I wash it only with the eye water, and later on I transfer it to the DMF solution. Uh, for DMF solution because it can add uh, can suspend and dissolve a lot of amount of graphene more than a water and later on I put it in sonicate in sonicated or cleaner for a uh, two hours and after two hours again I collect it and later on I put it in oven I put it in oven around temperature it was a hundred and then for around a 15 minute to dry and can easily remove it and also to evaporate all the TMF solvent. So finally, I can collect it and put it for further characterization. So you just use a spatula for scratching and remove it, scrub it from on the surface of the filter paper and collect it. Okay, so now let's look about the characterization. The first things about if you really got uh, graphene is, sh is should to be conductive. So first of all, we have to make a simple conductivity test by just using the uh, sample circuit to light up the LED. So let's look here. So here I con connected all of them, connect the circuit with a filter paper. So the filter paper here, turn on, wow, it's coming up. So light up, you can see the light is turned a blue. So now, what about if I increase the voltage, just about it now three. So what about if I increase it more? So let me increase it more. If you increase up to five, six, seven, you can see it's more bright, bright, more bright. Wow, so nice. So now I exactly make sure that I have get my products is graphene. So the next one is about IR. Let's looking about the spectrum. So in this ways, I make a comparison between the graphing commercial in the blue blue line, the graphing commercial that I have it in lab, and also in the exfoliated graphene from a pencil. So this is the mean bit between of them. So that mean I have them. This is perhaps about C double band C and CH both of them. So what about? So uh, also it's very important here that I can. Uh, can easily notice that abs absence of the CO. I don't have CO here. Also, I don't have OH peaks here. That means my powder is graphene, not graphene oxide, as you can see. So also, I can notice uh, some peaks here. So you can see in my my exfoliated graphene, I can get some peaks. So that means perhaps they belong to the wax and the, and the clay. So clay because it's in a circle, so you can you can see the clay is in is in suspension, and because a bubble, it may come to the some graphene some graphene layer that has some clay. So this is perhaps that uh, coming with my uh, gra exfoliated graphene, maybe. So that means why we need, why they use wax and clay. So use the clay so to make it, as we said, during the production for hardness. That's so nice. So the next one, let me look at uh, SEM. So let's look first about commercial graphene and exfoliated graphene. So this is the commercial and then you can see that how is the low layer, as you can see, so nice. And this is also the exfoliated the graphene. So both of them at the same scale. So you can see this is that flow, the few layers is so nice. So that means I really got 
my, my powder is a graphene. So next you can see the flow layer is here. Both of them, this is for uh, exfoliated graphene. So you can see them here and here. You can see the flow layer, that one is it. So it's just around 5,000, 10,000. You can see them, you can see uh, many layers. So that is so nice about that I surely got a uh, graphene. So finally, I also did XRD. So can see XRD, X-ray diffraction. So I can see this is the pencil core graphite. Then in this case, I got the pencil core graphite. So this is, I can see that the big sharp here, the sharp peaks is here for that one. And when they exfoliate the graphene is, is dramatically decrease. So that's one uh, due to the white white decrease because it's due to the intercalation of the graphite structure. So the decrease of this peak show that graphite had decomposed to the graphene sheets. Also, this is the commercial graphene. Is, is it, I'm not sure actually why this is coming higher than the peak in commercial compared to mine. So maybe this depends on the way that they prepare the commercial graphene. So I'm not sure how they prepare it. But is it from well-known company? It's from Merck. So we can see both of them is a decrease compared by comparison to the graphite. So both of them is a decrease, which means that the, the graphene is uh, uh, intercalation graphite texture. However, I can see here this two big is occur in my my exfoliated graphene. So maybe this is attributed to the certain degree of crystallinity in the amorphous graphene products. So maybe that one, this is the reason why I got this one, but you can see that this is big here, that I can, this one, I saw it in the graphite. So you can see them here. So this is totally, I not see them here. I can't, sorry. And then I can see it is here in the commercial, but I don't see it in mine. So uh, in finally, I can confirm that uh, what I got from the electrochemical ex exfoliation of pencil core is graphene. Maybe the priority is not 100%, but is acceptable for uh, many to make further application and further characterization as well. So thank you so much for your uh, watching, and if you like uh, this video, please uh, subscribe and.